Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Scheimer. I'm a Florida certified teacher as well as an instructional design and technology student on edX. And this presentation is to, the, well the goal of it is to educate classroom teachers of the benefits of teaching NASA's engineering design process in STEM education classrooms. As you can see its title is on the screen here. And before we move on I'm going to read a quote from a, an article titled, Why is STEM Education So Important? And it's referencing a report by the National Science Foundation. In the 21st century, scientific and technological innovations have become increasingly important as we face the benefits and challenges of both globalization and a knowledge-based economy. To succeed in this new information-based and highly technological society, students need to develop their capabilities in STEM, to levels much beyond what was considered acceptable in the past. So as I previously stated, uh, the goal of this instruction is geared towards educators and their classroom applications for NASA's engineering design process. You can see the process is cyclic and it is listed on the screen here. Ask, imagine, and plan. Create, experiment, and improve. So we're going to move right into it. So the terminal learning objectives. Uh, by the end of this training, students will be able to do these things that you see on the screen. Uh, again, this is geared towards educators. I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, webcam over here for this, and I'll give you a second to look this over. So provide a clear and concise overview of NASA's beginning engineering science and technology program and the engineering design process. Demonstrate how to properly design and deliver an engineering design process lesson, including the resources and materials that you would acquire, uh, how to manage student teams and conduct hands-on uh, engineering design pro uh, process projects, challenge, incorporating all the phases. And then finally, to properly assess and evaluate an engineering design process challenge based on student performance as it relates to established national state education standards. So next you can see uh, we have the next generation science standards. There's a link here and this presentation is available as well so you can uh, click on that link and it uh, goes to a file engineering design in the next generation science standards. Uh, but here's the two big takeaways. Engineering design is a common topic at each grade level. And engineering design is cross-curricular in how, how it relates to problem solving. So let's look a little bit more at that. Go ahead and move again here. So there are similarities between the engineering design process and problem-based learning. Here on the left of the screen you see the engineering design process going through uh, steps. Uh, and then, I'm going to go ahead and pull up its comparison to problem-based learning, the problem-based learning process. So both are cyclic in nature and both are very useful for our students to know how to solve problems. Uh, so let's move to the next slide. Here are some real-world applications for engineering design process. Uh, creating a business plan, for instance, where you have uh, analysis, um, developing a mission statement and marketing plan, financial planning, and operations. Uh, and then we have, uh, here's another example for emergency management. Uh, and it both, again, the key takeaway here is cyclic in nature, requiring students to constantly evaluate uh, their assumptions and then to work within limitations and constraints as well. So uh, this is all pr a process of NASA's beginning engineering science and technology program. Uh, here's a quote and a takeaway from the uh, NASA's best website. Uh, their activity guides, which you'll find on the website on the link here, uh, will help teach students the engineering design process and the guides accommodate these grades. So it's really uh, broken down into early education, K through 2, uh, third to fifth grade, or middle school education, 6 through 8, and all follow the same set of activities. Uh, so it's the same process, it's the same uh, activity, it's just geared towards these different 
uh, groups of students. So let me go ahead and I'm going to take us to that page. So uh, while we're waiting here, uh, these are all links that are in the presentation and you can uh, follow that on your own. So here we see NASA's best homepage and you'll see here um, engineering design processes a link as well as the activity guides. Also if we scroll down here uh, there are some videos and those are very important for this presentation because a lot of this information is further elaborated on through videos that NASA has posted up on YouTube. So here's a NASA's best engineering is everywhere video. Uh, I'm not going to show it now uh, for time uh, consideration, so we're going to go right back over into our presentation. And again, here is the engineering design process. And this screen, uh, the link on here will link us back to that link I just previously showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. When we go back up, here's engineering design process. And as I stated, these uh, the process steps are linked out. It talks a little bit here about the engineering design process. It's a series of steps that engineers use to guide them as they solve problems. Uh, Musk ask a question, imagine a solution, plan a design, create the model, experiment and test that model, then take time to improve the original. All steps that are crucial for mission success in NASA and just about anything else that has to deal with engineering. So uh, there's an introduction video here and then each uh, topic, ask, imagine, plan, create, experiment and improve all have their own videos as well. Again, that is something we're not going to go through here, uh, but it is something that is very important as you prepare to uh, create a lesson uh, for this, is to get a good understanding of the process. The next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, how to assess uh, the uh, engineering design process, uh, especially through a challenge, and in that activity guides on the uh, previous on the best site. Uh, these all are listed out by those different grade categories, uh, but they are all uh, challenges, so they're referred to as challenges. So assessing student work during an engineering design challenge. Uh, the primary um, way to do this is to use the rubric that was created, and there's already a rubric. Uh, as you can see here, it's available for download. Uh, but you use a rubric like this, but also you would do student self-assessment as well. Uh, so it's a combination of the teacher involved with the learning uh, and, the and the students broken down into their engineering teams uh, will answer a lot of these questions as well as they go through creating their or completing their challenge. So in conclusion for this uh, topic, uh, as a consideration for using engineering design process in the 21st century, uh, 21st century classroom, uh, these are some of the key takeaways uh, that I did from um, interviewing a subject matter expert on this. NASA has what's called the edu Education Professional Development Collaborative, and these education specialists that are there, uh, in particular I interviewed one from the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, Mr. Wees. Um, these are some of the key points that he uh, pointed out to me. Um, so the questions that I asked for this was, what are the most effective methods you've identified for instructing engineering design process in the classroom? And he pointed out that hands-on demonstration is essential, not just for our students uh, when we're teaching them, but for us as teachers, we need to get our hands on these activities. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more why that's important here shortly. But um, modeling the responses. So understanding how you should interact with the students as they, as they move through the process 
In particular, he stressed the need to review their plan before allowing them to move on to the next step, which is the experiment phase. But uh, we also need to resist the urge to help the students be successful. We want them to succeed, but engineering as a process, uh, failure is a learning point. So failure as a learning point in engineering is okay as long as the students have developed a plan that takes into account the constraints and limitations and then allows them to proceed to the experiment phase. And they will learn from that failure, even if you see it coming. Uh, so don't discount that. And the next question I asked was, how should a teacher best prepare for developing an engineering design process lesson plan? Always go through the steps, the hands-on activity yourself before delivering, developing, delivering the lesson. So this point is uh, made here on the screen too. Uh, it needs to be reviewed prior to moving from plan to experiment. Failure is an option I just spoke about. But also, so the next point, I'm sorry, is give about four times longer than it required for you to complete the activity for students and groups. And that's just what he pointed out from experience. Um, lastly, I asked him, how do you properly assess student performance as it relates to an engineering design plan uh, process lesson? And he said, determine what the, is the purpose of the lesson. Uh, are you assessing specific standards and you need to focus on those standards or the process, the engineering design process in general. Um, use the rubric, as I uh, already pointed out on the previous slide, and you can get that rubric from downloading it off of NASA's page along with the activity guides. And incorporate student self-assessment with teacher assessment. So the rubric can be used both by the students and by uh, the teacher to uh, evaluate their performance uh, during the challenge. So with that, of course, uh, this is not live and active, so uh, this is where I will kind of conclude that uh, although I didn't really go through each of the steps, uh, that is something that the links are available in the presentation, uh, it is worthwhile to watch each of the videos, go through the process, and then look at the activity guide yourself to determine what best suits your future plans for the classroom. With that, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope uh, this has enlightened you on NASA's beginning engineering science and technology program and the NASA's engineering design process. Thank you.